Hello everyone, Scoopfish here, and welcome back to Digimon Links. Welcome to your Commander of the Holy Knights event guide. So, this event is going on from the 12th to the 17th, and is a points event in which you will get more points for Shine Greymon Rune Mode, Machine Dramon, and Shine Greymon Burst Mode, along with, of course, co-op owner bonus points. And of course, there's a chip event going on with this as well, in which you can get times six bonus points for your A chips, let the chip wars commence. Along with bonus points for the other Digimon, you will also get bonus stats, which you will get the most being for Ruin Mode. I'm a little bit sad that I didn't get him last time. And this time around, you are grinding for Leopardmon. And of course, Leopardmon has the mode change that we spoke of. And I actually forgot to mention the fact that Leopardmon has the mode change, but he has a type change when that happens too. So he becomes a nature tribe type actually when he mode changes to his leopard mode. Something to keep in mind, not that you face him. Um, I'm not sure of intense mode if for some reason he pops because I wasn't able to even get into co-op for that. I tried to make sure that I at least did that this time around and couldn't do so. I do not have the stones to go ahead and burn some stamina and get in there right now. So, as it sits, that's as far as we've gotten. Apologize if I sound a little bit funny, guys. I am still sick, and it was actually worse today than it was earlier in the week. So, ugh, whatever, we're keeping on trucking. So... There's an ability metal capture coming along with this as well, going on from the 12th to the 19th. And during this, one in every 10 capture is guaranteed to have an ability metal, and you could possibly get Grap Leomon for an ultimate. Now one thing I noticed that I got wrong is over on Gralmon.net, I thought they were saying that there was going to be a chip enhancement thing going on. Uh, there is not a chip enhancement thing going on. I actually did do a chip enhancement to test it out and there was no bonus points applied or anything like that and it doesn't state it anywhere in the event so just want to correct myself there. Also before we get into it I wanted to mention that Advent Quest has had a little rotation and Sakuyamon is now put in there. They did put in Prince Mamamon but I'm sure most of you guys as well as me have already cleared that so... Yeah, there is a new one to hit. Now on to the guide. So, per usual, in the easy quest, you're going to have the regular weaknesses of Grass and Abyss. And everything's one-shottable if you have a Mega, so who even cares anyway. Once you hit Normal, you do face Leopardmon, but he does still just have the same weaknesses, and it is easy as pie. Still facing champions along the way at this point as well. Now hard mode, he does lose the weakness of grass, but you still have the weakness of abyss. And per usual, this is when you start to face ultimates along the way to actually facing Leopardmon. During expert mode, you do actually still have the weakness of abyss, but he has gained the resistance to grass, so you're not going to have any nature to go ahead and hit him with there. Of course, along the way, you are still able to take advantage of the normal resistances and weaknesses, of the other Digimon. Now at this point he does still have the AoE attack but he is hitting pretty damn hard. I'm going to assume that in intense mode he probably has his single attack but I'm not completely sure so I wouldn't necessarily bet my cards on it because normally by now in expert mode he at least would have had his single attack if that was going to be the case and they were going to switch it up. I'm surprised they didn't put the leopard mode in there at this point either I thought that that was going to be the case too so I hopefully will be able to give you guys a little update before this video is completely done but I'm getting right on it to get it out so not completely sure but yeah he has the AoE attack up to at least expert mode but in intense mode he does lack all weaknesses and only has the ability to take normal damage from obviously neutral and abyss. Before heading out, I just wanted to let you all know that there is a problem in the present box with claiming right now because of something that happened in Coliseum. They seems to be a problem every time first round that when it comes to claiming your stuff, there's some sort of problem for some reason. Well, that is because of the mutant fragments and the mutant ultimate that you're getting. 
So you are able to claim things separately. I know right now with this being a points event that the thought of not being able to claim anything in the box is very discerning and I had the problem that I didn't think about claiming things separately. It just won't allow you to claim those other things, the fragments and the ultimate from the actual Coliseum rewards. So everything else you can claim separately. Make sure that that's how you're doing it and you skip the other things right now because of that data inconsistency problem that's going on or whatever. But that's pretty much going to do it for your guys' guide. Hope that you all enjoyed. Make sure you did to like, comment, share, subscribe. You know that YouTube stuff down below. Eventually might be that Twitch stuff down below because, well, I am working towards live streaming this every time. I'm just waiting to hear back from some people that I'd actually have any viewers because, well, it's pretty, uh pretty embarrassing to sit there and live stream and talk to yourself every single time so anyway i enjoy doing it this way a lot more as far as i can tell as it is because i'm able to cover things a little bit better and when i fuck up well i can edit it out <laughs> all right you guys hope you all enjoyed catch you on the flip side peace